Hey guys, what is up? This is Bougie and welcome to another Minecraft video. Today we're going to show you how to add live player accounts to custom welcome messages. So, what you're going to need is two plugins. Pure Perms and Pure Chat. This is for lead servers, so please do do your research on what a lead server is. Then come back to this video. But anyways, you'll all probably know what a lead server is anyway. So once you have those plugins, you're going to do slash set welcome message. Okay, we're going to color these square brackets. Whatever color you want, it's your server. So you can do stuff. Right now we're having a bit of chaos. So, you know, people are getting kicked and all that. Percent N. And what that is, is the number of players online at the exact moment of login. Then we're going to do slash 25 or whatever number you want. Uh, whatever number it is, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, those are the numbers of slots you can have on Elite Server. 25 is the maximum, 5 is the minimum. Okay, you find that out, type that in, that's the right number for the maximum slots. Okay, once it says, uh, welcome message set. Okay, we're going to leave. And we're going to rejoin to test it, to see if it works. And it looks like we're having some technical difficulties. At the particular moment. See, and look at there. It tells us how many players are currently online at the exact moment of login. Now, if you want the usernames of those players, you do slash set welcome message again. We're going to color these brackets again. Your server, whatever you want. Okay. Now, we're going to do it in green. Now, we do percent online. And that tells you that's for the usernames of the players currently online. The exact moment I log in. Okay. Once it says welcome message set. Uh, once it's set, then we'll be able to test to see if it works. The server is currently lagging, which means we have to wait for it to be set. There we go. Now, go to go back into the server and see if this works. Now. Yes, we are having a bit of lag issues. It's not very pretty. I'm telling you, not very pretty. This is going to take up a lot of time in the video, and you guys are probably going to click off. No, don't do that. We're trying as hard as we can to fix the lag. It looks like my app is freezing up on me. Oh, never mind, it's not. It's trying to connect, but I'll have to hit cancel. We're going to see if it works. Okay. Let's wait for it to load up. I think we'll load it up now. Have to refresh. Okay. Just wait for it. <clears throat> it seems like it's not wanting to connect. I'm sorry, guys. This is uh, this was not intended. I don't know why. It's just it has some troubles for me at the moment. Because of the, the radius, uh, it's it's not working out. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. This is this is taking up all the time. But uh, anyways, uh, let's stop and talk. Um, it will tell you the usernames of the players online. Um, so basically, y'all know what it was like. You saw it in the video. You just tested and all that. But you know, anyways. So if you got now, I've tested the stuff. For server names and the floating text. If you don't know what the floating text is, just go to the tutorial Brent Gaming made. I'll leave a link in the description to that video. And well, it doesn't work. It only works with welcome messages. So that's the useful information you do need in case you do try. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, which I hope you did despite the issues of lag, please do comment, like, and subscribe for more videos and possibly even more tutorials. And I hope to see you guys in the next video.